Thank you. Um, I want to build on other comments, particularly those of Mr. Levin regarding the Rohingya. Um, we have uh, seen a democracy movement in Burma, Myanmar, that has inspired us. Uh, many of us have come to know Aung uh, San Suu Kyi uh, as an inspirational figure, and we're so disappointed when the democracy movement uh, in, uh, in Burma was unwilling to state clearly that all the Rohingya born in Burma should be given citizenship documents and repatriated. Uh, has uh, Aung San Suu Kyi herself embraced that explicitly? Uh, thank you, Congressman. Um, not that we're aware of, uh, but we have focused our attention on uh, the atrocities themselves, and that is uh, why we have uh, called out the, the junta. The, the Burmese military is responsible. Uh, we're, we're being called upon. It's Look, we know how bad the junta is, but we're being called upon to support a democracy movement that seems to believe in democracy for almost all the people of Burma and can't bring itself uh, to oppose the, uh, uh, the, the, the ethnic cleansing of the Rohingya. Uh, they, make a, they make a few statements like, well, we should respect the Rohingya according to Burmese law. Then you look at Burmese law and it says, wipe out the Rohingya, uh, or at least don't give them citizenship documents, make them all uh, uh, illegal uh, residents and then pre presumably expel them. So uh, what have we, we have, we, our, our friends should listen to us more than we expect our enemies to listen to us. Has a democracy movement said that the Rohingya people uh, who were born in Burma are Burmese citizens and entitled to citizenship documents? Uh, not that I'm aware of, sir. Um, if that, is, that, are... that, that is consistent with what I, what I know and uh, is, is very disappointing. And I would point out that if neither the junta nor even the democracy move, if, if, if Burma is unwilling to govern its territory in a way that is non-genocidal to the people who, who have a right to live there, uh, then maybe a portion of Rakhine State should become independent uh, or join uh, Bangladesh. We have only recognized this century, I believe, one change in international border, that being the creation of South Sudan, and we did so precisely because the government in Khartoum was intent upon uh, oppression, uh, some would say genocide, uh, uh, of, 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 a, of, of a portion of its territory. And it lost that territory. Uh, I'm also concerned with uh, the um, fact that we're still giving economic aid uh, to Burma. I brought this up in the hearing uh, that we uh, did on uh, September uh, 28th of last year. Um, and uh, 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 e we've got a way money we send, economic development aid we send to Burma to aid that we could provide to starving people in Yemen or, or Tigray. Um, and I understand why we would provide food aid to displaced people, uh, but we're also providing economic development aid that was defended by your colleague, uh, Mr. Shear, uh, 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 on the theory that we need to keep the Burmese people on our side. Uh, should we be pro helping the, uh, the junta meet its economic development objectives uh, in, uh, in Burma, Myanmar? Uh, thank you, Congressman. Uh, with regard to the uh, Rohingya issue, um, I'm not... I'm not going to speak on behalf of the various groups, especially the pro-democracy groups. Um, but in our recent meetings, uh, in fact, with the NUG, um, they have invited in uh, Rohingya uh, to represent a part of their larger group. And so that was the first time. That's, that that's ever... a step in the right direction. And clearly the democracy groups are less uh, bent on uh, ethnic cleansing and genocide than the junta is. Uh, but that's the low bar. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, thanks very much. Um, but uh, yes, there are small steps, and I think there's recognition, especially after 
uh, having more and more consultations with international partners and countries that are interested in democracy, like the United States. Um, I think uh, we talked about uh, economic issues a little bit earlier. Uh, we are uh, very concerned when um, the junta can benefit from any economic arrangements. And so we, when we consult with, uh, uh, with companies, um, that is one thing that we caution. Um, and uh, we are very much opposed, but we are very much in favor of a legitimate businesses that can help the Burmese people. Yeah, my, my, my question was about American tax dollars going to economic development in Burma. And that ought to be redirected to less uh, uh, amb ambiguous situations, situations that, where it's clearly beneficial to the goals that we all have. Uh, and with that, I yield back. Right. 